Hi, this is Vijendra Aital from Composites. So welcome to the presentation of Raft Test Automation Framework. The agenda for today's presentation would be to discuss about Composites QA capabilities. Then we will touch upon the Raft Test Automation Framework which is custom built by Composites. Little discussion about the application screens that we are going to automate today using Raft Test Automation Framework. Then we will uh, see how Raft can be effectively used for any test automation requirements. Then we will see about reports that Raft provides, the advantage that Raft provides, and also look at other capabilities that we can provide. At Composites, as part of customer engagement, we provide the whole suite of services like manual testing, web service and API testing, which is both automated and manual. We have uh, test automation frameworks like page object model with page factory design pattern, data driven frameworks, keyword driven approaches and hybrid framework which actually is a raft framework. Then we also have behavior driven development, BDD based test automation framework. We also provide security testing where we use manual best practices like SQL injection, cross site scripting etc. And we also follow the guidelines of OWASP and WASC based uh, security testing. We use Kali Linux, Burp Suite as uh, some tools that can be used to find vulnerabilities in the application before any application goes live. Then coming to the performance testing, we, we predominantly use JMeter and Amazon as a platform to generate uh, any load on the application to ensure that the application is designed to support the loads that is it that it's anticipated to. So we also use Blazemeter as a platform which is effective which can be effectively used to do performance testing against the application. Now that you have seen the capabilities that we offer at Composites, let's take a deep dive in Raft test automation. So what is Raft all about? Raft stands for regression automation of functional tests. So Raft is a framework which is built by Composites using open source tech stack. Uh, this is, was mainly designed to reduce cost and quickly start any test automation be it web or uh, Android or iOS. So it provides a very uh, quick ROI when we use Raft to do any test automation. So Raft is very easy to use. It's basically a hybrid framework which installs much of the scripting tasks from the template Excel sheets. So BAs or QAs who are uh, not into programming or test automation can simply stack up keywords one over the another, provide relevant test data and create a business case that can be used for testing in web or mobile applications. So Raft has got uh, intuitive dictionary of keywords which can be just uh, uh, searched from the relevant columns and uh, it can be selected. Raft has got a lot of reusable components. Drive scripts is the core of the Raft engine. So we have generic keywords which are uh, designed for uh, web and mobile platforms. So we have utility functions like uh, reading, from a reading from an Excel, writing back to an Excel or taking a screenshot uh, and various other utility functions that can be called. So we also have a folder management. Uh, whenever a test executes, uh, all the results, screenshots, everything is put into one particular folder. This will be used later when we can send email to the relevant stakeholders. We also have loggers, error handlers and reporting which are reusable for any project. Some of the interesting features of Raft is you can execute uh, tests in parallel. You can execute the same tests on different uh, platforms and different browser combinations. You can integrate that with the CI and CD environment using Jenkins. The reporting is comprehensive. You can, you can also create uh, smoke and uh, full regression suites. At some points of time you want to just execute uh, build verification tests or smoke tests or sanity tests. You can, you, you can just create separate test suites and provide it to Raft to execute them. Failure screenshots can be captured with highlights. Image comparison can be uh, can be done using tools or any other image comparison libraries. Raft seamlessly integrates with Bitbucket and uh, Bitbucket, GitHub, and other social coding platforms. Now let's look into Raft architecture. So we have already looked into utility functions, generic keywords, folder management, reporting, logging, error handling framework. Let's look into test automation XLS that provides the input to the entire Raft framework. So Test Automation Excel Sheet has got a test environment sheet where you can pick and choose the test environment whether it's a QA staging or a production. Then you have Test Module Selection Sheet where you can pick and choose the module that you want to execute. Then you have Test Case Selection Sheet 
uh, where you have detailed description of each test cases then you have the steps sheet where uh, there will be n number of steps for each test case now test steps will always have some steps where it will go into the web application navigate to few pages and then it will have some verification points so apart from this raft also provides a facility to uh, store the locators and objects which are specific to the application and if there are any workflows that's not available in the generic or uh, uh, generic keywords you can build your own business keywords that can have a number of inputs now uh, once you build this keyword it can also be used across the other test cases all the projects at composites uh, we use test lab so test lab is a, a set of machines where one of the machines will act as a hub and there will be many nodes to it uh, these can be mac windows and linux machines and it can also connect to android and ios devices through composites test lab let's discuss something about the scenarios that we are going to execute so uh, the first test case is about validating the logo, verifying the top strip and verifying the contents of the uh, search and cart and also the footer contents. Second test case is about navigating to the website and validating all the headers. So here we have intentionally put a defect, we have seeded a defect so that we want to see when the test fails, how does Raft capture the defect and also show the errors to the user so that it can easily be identified. The third case, uh, the third test case is about validating all the links in uh, clothing menu and also validating that each of the sub menus actually go to the relevant pages. The fourth test case is about a uh, successful login. So our approach will also always be uh, something like we start with the most uh, negative case um, with the invalid username and invalid password. Then we just provide the invalid username. Then we provide the invalid password. Then we go towards a positive case. So at each step, we ensure that all the relevant messages are provided by the application. Fifth test case is about logging into the application, searching a couple of products and adding it to the cart. Then again log out and then come back and log in back uh, and see that this, uh, the two items that has been added in the previous step are there and the same products have been av are available in the application. Now the sixth test case is a little bit of uh, both front end and the back end. So you have a website automation code uh, where you will open a website, search for a particular product, capture the product name and then pass it on to the admin automation code. So admin side, uh, the CMS side of it, we will uh, search that particular product, get the total number of quantity available in the inventory and then again go back to the website and uh, check out some 10 items of that purchase and log out and then again we will go back as an admin and search the same product and we validate that the quantity has reduced by 10. So this is something like a database validation test case. Now so now let's look at uh, the usage of raft. So raft is very intuitive and very easy as we said earlier all you have to do is um, uh, look at the screen and build it like a story. So you can see that here uh, there's a first name and a text box in front of it. So all a user has to do is select the appropriate keyword in this particular case they will select edit input and they will have a look at the label in front of this text box which is first name and also they will enter their name like John. So if you can see that uh, each and every test case forms a story in itself. So for example, you can see that edit input first name John, edit input last name Smith, select radio button marital status single, select checkbox hobby, dancing, comma reading and so on and so forth. Raft also provides a set of uh, reusable keywords. So you can just click on one of the columns and get all the relevant keywords.
now let's uh, look into the in test automation input excel sheet in detail so first one is called as a test environment sheet where you can see you can have multiple environment you can have a QA staging production and this is where you pick and choose a particular environment if you want to just execute the test cases on staging you just pick this up as yes and if you want to execute on QA and staging you ch choose the first two of them and you do not execute on the production the second sheet is called a test module selection sheet uh, where you will you can pick and choose the module that you want to execute at some points you might always have only certain modules impacted by a change request or a new functionality in such case if you just want to execute only that particular test case all you have to do is just pick and choose that particular module and only those module will be executed the next one is a test uh, test case selection sheet um, each row is a test case in itself and it will have n number of steps in the next sheet but you can uh, I will just read out one of the test case you can see that non logged in user visits the home page and validates the content of the top strip logo and search this is the first test case that we discussed then the second test case is verify sub header uh, sub menu headers and so on and so forth here also you can always have a pick and choose which test case you want to execute but uh, using module names we can control what to execute which module to execute and which modules not to execute the next one is a test step sheet this uh, this sheet will have detailed steps of each and every action that we perform on this step for example you can see that uh, test step 1 has got about 22 steps and uh, the first second and third column are all for the description and linking between the test cases and test steps but the core is about your uh, page name where you identify which is the page name that you want to act upon uh, the keyword and the locators and if you read this step by step it forms like a story you can see that open browser enter a site verify element displayed and phone number location should phone number should be displayed you can just stack keywords and data one below the other and create a scenario one of the features of raft is we provide all the generic keywords in uh, one uh, common sheet where um, any new users of raft can just hover over and understand what this generic keyword does for example in this particular case edit input and click enter so one of them is a locator the first value is a locator and the second value is what you want to enter the screen so each and every generic keywords that we have built over the years have description of how it can be used in the sheets Similarly, if you add any business keyword which is specific to the application, you can just go ahead and write the description as well. The final sheet is about a locate, uh, locator property. This acts like a object repository where we will identify each and every locator and provide a logical name to it so that uh, all these values get uh, populated in the drop down while building the test, test uh, steps. So now let's look at the reports that test automation framework provides. So once the test is executed, you can see uh, you can see here that uh, test case four starts from here and it has about uh, twelve steps, and uh, uh, the detailed input comes as a output itself. And if there is any failure, it catches that bug. So purposely we had uh, uh, captured a bug and wanted to see how it captures the bug and what detail it provides. You can see that it says the expected text was not found. Expected is first name and last name is required, but actually the field is required. So there is a mismatch so if there is any mismatch it will catch the bug and immediately uh, it will capture a screenshot of this page with the red highlight around the failure and it will also uh, capture the test step number uh, test uh, case number test step number and with a little description whatever we had provided all this will be provided in the in the uh, image that will be captured by the raft now once the test is executed the entire uh, test results will be uh, zipped and uh, uh, it will be stored and it can also be sent to all the relevant stakeholders like this you can see that uh, the mail comes with a compressed uh, uh, results zip fold, uh, zip format with each and every platform uh, provided with a timestamp of when the test then when the test was executed so what's the advantage of Raft and Composites? So uh, we predominantly work on open source approach that greatly reduces the cost, upgrade cost, support cost and all that stuff. Then uh, using Raft, it's more or less like a zero training and uh, a training and infrastructure cost. So most of our clients, we provide our test labs so they can execute their test on our lab. So uh, that's what it's about. 
in reduced uh, automated test design and development time so what we see here is uh, when we use raft more uh, close to 30 percent to 40 percent of the de uh, framework development time is reduced uh, then uh, efficient use of technology we use Jenkins, Sauce Labs, mobile testing labs, app monitoring tools, etc. We integrate all this with our Raft framework so that uh, we provide uh, real value to the customer. So uh, client connectivity and agility, we can quickly ramp up QA resources and uh, Raft is a tested framework that has been used for uh, so many projects. So uh, we, can, we can be rest assured that this framework is stable. Thank you very much and also visit our draft execution video and parallel execution video.